Okay, guys, I remember a while back I done a, a, a video about um, Red Dead Redemption and why I feel Red Dead Redemption is without doubt Rockstar's greatest kind of a game. So, in this video, I want to do a video about their other game that they done way back in 2006. I'm talking about Bully or Canis Cadam Edit. I must apologize for my Latin. And this won't be the first time I say those three words, so I apologize if I make that mistake again. Bully or Candice Cadam Edit as it was released in 2006. Personally, I think Candice Cadam Edit is actually a better name for the game, mainly because it translates in from Latin and its English translation means dog eat dog, which is really interesting because it really describes kind of the theme of the game because it really is a dog eat dog kind of world that's kind of set in the world of Bully and of course Latin being an ancient language that was thought feels fitting as well considering that the game itself is set around a boarding school. Okay so let's look at why this game is great. Why this game is really really remarkably underrated. Okay so this game came after the likes of San Andreas and it also came out after a uh, Warrior, um, another great Rockstar game. While Bully has kind of limitations, it has a lot of limitations compared to San Andreas. It doesn't have, you know, a lot of vehicles. It doesn't actually have like a lot of options in terms of music, in terms of radio options. It doesn't actually have that. It's kind of limited to its setting, to how big it is. But I think this game really, really does play into its strengths, its its sense of isolation. It really plays into that because, of course, it's set around a boarding school. And, of course, that's what makes it work. And that's why it almost has this wonderful, isolated feel. So let's look at just the basic synopsis of the story. Okay, so we have a kid called Jimmy Hopkins. And he's kind of a bad kid who's been kicked out out of quite a few schools until his parents send him, decide to send him to Bulworth Academy. And the kind of base, the, the basic kind of synopsis or story to the game is set around Jimmy trying to restore peace to Bulworth Academy and kind of build a reputation for him. So we see him interacting with a lot of kind of stereotypes we've seen in quite a lot of kind of the high school boarding school type school type genre and it kind of really plays into that it plays into the the stereotypes and replays really into that kind of genre and those cliches and it really does a great job with that the plot is kind of slightly over the top jimmy's a, a wonderful kind of funny character and all the supporting characters are really a joy to be around as I said, the game does have limitations, but it does have a lot of strength to it. The overall uh, structure of the the boarding school, the, both the exterior and interior, it, it just looks fantastic. The whole, it almost feels like kind of a kind of juvenile prison. That's the look it has. The whole exterior of the building, it's big, it's daunting, it's gloomy, it's miserable looking. But it also works so well for the game as a visual point of view. Both the interior is kind of plain and boring, but it works too as well because this is Jimmy's life. He's just in school and school is meant to be something boring it's something jimmy doesn't enjoy and that really works for the game visually it was a great looking game for its time and i still feel it does hold up so remarkably well i mean this game was featured so much fun and creative missions that replayed really into how jimmy would kind of make himself more popular and how he would click with other the other kind of stereotypes and cliches and, and the game just done such a great job of designing these wonderful creative levels i also love the way they kind of played it the fact that jimmy's 15 so in terms of weapons what he had he you know he had a catapult and um you know he'd use the marble balls and things like that as a weapon which was really cool and really unique what I also loved about this game is it had a wonderful sense of seasons. We actually seen seasons change as the game progresses and as the missions progress. So it was interesting seeing um, fall season. You'd see snow as winter comes. You'd see as as the the year came to its end. You'd see you know summer season because start starting up and it really played into seasons. Like a lot of other rock stars didn't quite do that until Bully really played into that. 
So let's talk about the gameplay, the gameplay of this game. The gameplay, yes, it did have limitations, but my God, it was it wonderful what in what it done. It replayed into wonderful mini games. The mini games were wonderful. They were fun. There was something you could ignore or do, but these mini games were so rewarding. They had chemistry ones, chemistry classes, which was once you do these. The chemistry experiments right you get these awards there was photography classes which were really fun as well there was art classes there was english grammar classes all these mini games were remarkably fun because mini games they can be kind of hit and miss but bully or candace Callum adam edited on them really really well the combat system was also fantastic it replayed into the strengths that was introduced in warrior and it just had lots of tackles and punches and powerful kicks and the cool thing with the combat system is you constantly are being able to learn new things which was really cool as well there was also dozens of side missions just a dozen of little jobs that jimmy could do to make more money there was also ways to spend money the game had so much to offer although once again i mentioned the game didn't actually have a radio or have a, a music or its own option to music but the soundtrack to the game was just fantastic. It was so cool and chilled and it really played into the world that Jimmy lived in. And it just was just a wonderful soundtrack. And it was so simple, so subtle, and just it played into the background so well. And you just couldn't help kind of humming or whistling to this great, great soundtrack. So that's my piece about Candice Cadam Edit or Bully or whatever you want to call it. So please put that in the comment section below whether you play this game, whether you've whether you know of this game, whether you have got fond memories of this game, put that in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see.